Hi, my name is Suresh Kumar. I am working with BNC Smart Reporting R&D. I am going to present Smart Reporting Deployment in Cluster Setup. Agenda will be like this. Smart Reporting Cluster Scenario, Steps to Achieve, and then Live Demo. Smart Reporting can be deployed in a clustered environment for a high availability and load balancing. In this video, we will have a look at how to set up and configure smart reporting in a cluster environment. Smart reporting cluster shares a single smart reporting database instance that is all smart reporting nodes in the cluster will share the same DB instance. Steps to set up a smart reporting in a cluster deployment. First step is install smart reporting in a node 1. Second step is install smart reporting in node 2, pointing to the same database. Third step is setting up cluster configuration. Let's watch the demo to how to achieve smart reporting in cluster deployment. Go to node 1 of smart reporting install machine and stop the smart reporting service. and navigate to the smart reporting install directory smart reporting app server web apps root and web enough. under that there is a file called web.xml this web.xml file needs to be modified the first step is the following server definition needs to be added in web.xml The second step is disable the task scheduler. Disable the task scheduler by adding the following to the web.xml file. This has to be added in MI startup servlet block. This will disable all tasks visible in the task scheduler menu within the smart reporting interface. This includes broadcasting, populating cached filters, scheduled reports and populating cached views. This could result the sending the reports multiple times. Thus, it is recommended that you enable the background task on only one node. You can do this by changing the param value to false and save the web.xml. The next step is disable system tasks. Disable the background system task by removing or commenting out the following xml from the web.xml. This will disable system tasks like group flattening, LDAP synchronization, event archiving, document cleanup, and average runtime calculations. The last step is adding distributable tag in the web.xml. Save the web.xml and close it. And then start the smart reporting service. All the modifications for cluster configuration in node 1 are completed. In the same way we have to do in node 2 of smart reporting installed machine. Thanks for watching this demo.